guys, I hope you're doing well. My name is Maisie and this is my best friend Georgia. You will have seen her in many videos. We're doing this slightly different to normal because unfortunately we are in tier three at the moment, um, which means we can't mix together because of coronavirus, so that's great. But in today's video, we are doing British Girls Try American Candy for the first time. I'm so excited because we went shopping a few weeks ago and we picked out all of these different treats and there's literally maybe one or two that we've both tried, but most of them are brand new. I've tried Twinkies before. I've had Pop-Tarts, but not this one. Both listed uh, what we think will be our favorites and in order of favorite to least favorite. And then we'll tell each other what that was at the end. Throughout, we're also going to rank them zero to 10, 10 being the best. Shall we start off with the Pop-Tart? We've got the small, the Frosted S'mores Pop-Tart. Pop tart we've just put it in the toaster neither of us knew what we were doing so we hope it's right apologies any americans that think we've done that wrong it was only for a minute very um, gooey inside yeah it's kind of got like marshmallow in it although i feel like it's a bit like jammy anyway we're trying it <laughs> yeah mm. oh yeah i like that yeah it's not too sweet either i feel like i could have that for breakfast the marshmallow is really nice in it. Mmm, yummy. Yeah. What are you thinking? What are you going to rate the pop tart out of 10? I don't really know. Oh, I think you froze. <laughs> <laughs> Am I still frozen? Oh no, Maisie's froze. Okay, apologies guys for that little technical difficulty. This is what happens when you're trying to do it remotely. The last thing I asked was, Georgia, what do you rate it out of 10? So what do you rate it? Nine. Me too, I've rated it a nine. Not a 10, just because I feel like the actual like, I'm not saying like the bread bit, but do you know what I mean? Like the hard bit just isn't as nice as what's inside. Yeah, I also feel like the bread is a little bit cinnamony as well, which is not really what I asked for. <laughs> Yeah, not 10 out of 10, but it's like a good, it's, I would eat it all the time. So it is definitely a nine. Should we do the Hershey's, is it cookies and cream? Yeah. So have you ever had Hershey's before? Yeah, I've had the, the dark chocolate. Okay. Yeah, so I don't think I've actually ever had this one before, but I've had the cookie crumble, which was amazing. I'm not really sure how I'm feeling about the bottom of it. I've literally it just looked at that then and thought, Ugh. Like I've got that trypophobia thing where you feel a bit funny by holes. Oh really? Yeah. I'm not looking at it. I'm gonna keep looking at the top. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's a bit weird. What's that white chocolate called? Milky bar. Yeah. It's quite similar it to is that. Like that but it's got like a weird like tangy taste to it. Mmm. My uh, jaw. About weird. Yeah. I don't know why though. It's got like a weird like tangy like flowery taste to it. It's not horrible. I like the texture and I like how many like cookies it's got in it. Mm. What are you rating it Georgia? I'm gonna say six. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> it's leaving a weird aftertaste of like a tangy like I don't want to say it's alcohol but I do feel like it's a bit alcoholy. Do you know what I mean? I don't know if it's alcohol. I don't I don't know. It's just weird. Should we do this rocky road thing? Yeah. Mine says Rocky, yours probably says Road. <laughs> yeah. Just a side note, we I split these in half yesterday and Georgia came to the door and I gave them her socially distance. Yeah, in a little, little situation that we're in right now. I literally put it through the wrapper. Rocky Road, handmade chocolate coated marshmallow with real, did it say graham crackers, not graham crackers? Graham crackers! And cashews, s'mores it out because i've literally all i've seen is this like marshmallow vibe it looks very sticky and it yeah. kind of reminded me of a marks and spencer's tea cake yeah yeah or like a double decker yeah it smells like a double decker actually yeah it does okay oh what is that thing in the middle is that not the nuts yeah it probably is the chocolate part's nice. Yeah, it's not like, it doesn't taste horrible. 
but I'm just not sure how I feel about the texture. I think it's a marshmallow. I feel like it's getting better well, as I'm having more. As I'm having sure. more. I'm try it. I just don't feel like I like the middle thing. It makes it weird when you bite into it. Yeah. I'm gonna rate that five. I would say five. I thought it was gonna be nice because like, it's meant to be like a small and we love them, so. Maybe that middle thing's meant to be the graham cracker. Oh yeah. Should we try the Charleston chew? Yeah, I'm actually intrigued about this one. So this is gonna give me proper flashbacks because this is the only one out of everything here that I've I've had before. And I had this at camp. I just walk around camp, just chewing it. Kind of like a Mars bar vibe, really. Yeah. And like a curly whirly. Well, I'm not a fan of curly whirlies. It smells very sweet. It smells <laughs> very weird. Oh my God, so chewy. <laughs> I'm trying to like remember it at camp, but can't. It's like a fudge, isn't it? Yeah, that's how it feels. Like I wouldn't want much more than a half, to be honest. No, take your ages. But the fact that that's only half, like American portions are just so huge. Like what the hell? I feel like in England though, we're too stingy. Like everything's tiny. I know. Their small is our like medium, mm. isn't it? Like they're always like one up. I do like it, I'm just not sure. It's just um, not sitting well with me. It's just very chewy, but I'm not really a chewy kind of person. I'm well, not actually, I didn't have it at camp quite a lot, so I don't know what I'm talking about. I think I'm gonna rate it a seven. I was gonna rate it a six. Okay. Should we go for the Oreo <laughs> brownie next? The Oreo brownie, yeah, I'm so excited for this. Oh my. <laughs> Oreo and brownie are like my two favorite things. I love how it looks like an Oreo inside. Yeah, it smells like Oreos and a brownie together, so. Okay. Let's give it a try. <laughs> I don't really feel like it's got any flavour. See, for me, it just tastes like a more milkier brownie. I feel like Oreos, we discovered this in our unbranded video. Yeah. I feel like Oreos have an amazing flavour. Because they're quite milky, that's why. Nice. I feel like it'd be better warmed up with some ice cream on the top. Mm. Yeah. I'm going to give it an eight. Oh, yeah. Oh, I think I'm going to give it a seven. I'm not overwhelmed. I'm quite disappointed. You do the balls. Yeah. So what are they called? Do you read them out? Junior caramels. Soft caramels covered in milk chocolate. I feel like these are what they sell in the cinema. Like when I went to the cinema once in America, they just had like boxes of stuff. Like, do you remember in um, 13 Reasons Why? Yeah. Like when people yeah. ask for sweets, they give them like cardboard boxes. Oh, okay. Whereas ours are more like sharing bags. Can't really say much, it's like a Maltese from the outside. Oh yeah. Hmm. Ew. Ugh. I don't like it. <laughs> At first I liked it. Like fake caramel. Yeah, I'm gonna just try it again, but bite it in half so I can see what it looks like. I feel like it tastes like a Mars bar that you've left out in the sun and it's like dried up. I really like yeah. I'm not a fan. <laughs> <laughs> so at first when you said air, I was like, no, it's quite nice. And then I got like a, a hit of like an aftertaste. I was like, oh. oh. Can't even describe it. Meant, I thought it was going to be like caramel, you know, like a Rolo. Where it like, you, yeah, you that's it. And it's like, woo, all runny. That's what it kind of looks no. like in the picture. It's not like, you can't really see what it's like dripping. I'm gonna give it a two. I'm gonna give it a two. It's gross. It's this chocolate chip cookie dough flavored chocolate and it's from the brand Hands Off or mine, Hands Off. It says finger licking delicious, yummy vanilla cookie dough, crunchy cookies. It's your Ooh. mouth. Perfectly. So they come like this. Right, I'm excited for this. I am. It nice. smells like dark chocolate underneath. Mm, yeah, it does. Oh, I've got it all in. Oh, wow. Oh, I like it. It's got like crunchy bits inside. It reminds me of something. Maybe like galaxy cookie crumble. That might be it, that might be it, you know. It's quite bitter. I think it's because it's like dark. 
And I don't really know why they call it cookie dough because it doesn't taste anything like cookie dough. It's nice though, I really like it. Mm. It's more like mm. a biscuit, so it's not as sweet. I mean, I feel like, it, maybe I'll give it like an 8.5. <laughs> yeah, to, I'm gonna do that actually. 8.5. The only reason why I'm not giving it a nine or 10 is just cause it's not the tastiest chocolate. It lasts but not least, and I'm not really looking forward to this. Not no. I know you see, you said that you like Twinkies, but like the fact that when it's in the wrapper, it's a little bit like wet puts me off. Moist. <laughs> and also the fact that it's got cream in it, but you don't have to keep it in the fridge, I find very weird. Oh my god, right. Okay. Are you ready? ready? It, it smells, smells weird. weird. I've actually had these nice. in America though, like, so I don't know if they're going to taste the exact same, do you mean? Okay. No. <gasps> no. No. I feel like I'm offending so many Americans right now. <laughs> but I don't think I like the cream. Like, the sponge is fine. The sponge is basic, like, whatever. It's a bit dry, to be honest, like, if I'm being picky. I feel like they are nicer in America. I don't know why I'm getting like banana vibes, but I am. Yeah. I don't know why, because in America, like the one that I had, it was just so like sugary, like it was just so sweet. It does taste like it's been transported over. Yeah. And left in a shop for a while. But you're eating it. I'm going to rate it a three because I think it's better than the Junior Caramels. Oh my God, I expected it to be that low. <laughs> oh, I don't like it. Well, I'm going to give it a seven. Seven. <laughs> Strictly seven. <laughs> my order that I thought was going to be my favorite was the first was Pop Tart Oreo, then Cookie Dough, then Hershey's, then the Charleston, then Junior Caramel, then Rocky Road, and then Twinkie. So I did actually put Twinkie at the bottom. Yeah, yeah, I put Rocky Road first because I thought it was going to taste just like s'mores, Oreo brownie, Pop Tarts. Twinkie, Junior Caramels, Hershey's, the Cookie Dough, and then the Charleston Chew. Mine were completely wrong. In first place for me was the Pop Tarts. Pop Tarts. Number two for me was the Cookie Dough. Same. Number three was the Brownie. Yeah, same. <laughs> then mine was the Charleston Chew for number four. Mine was the Twinkie. Um, I had Hershey's. Yep, same. Then the Rocky Road. So I had the Charleston Chew there. Okay. Number seven was the Twinkie. Mine was Rocky Road. And the last one, which we both can agree on, the was Junior, Junior Caramel. <laughs> I mean, what a weird name. Why are they called Junior Caramel? No, I don't know. So they're like bigger ones than that, I wonder. Oh, imagine. That'd be even worse. Oh. Thanks so much for joining me, Georgia. Yeah, I'm going to finish off some of these and some of them are going in the bin. Yeah, I feel like I definitely want to explore more like foreign candies. So people, let me know if there's anything that you want us to try, whether there's more American foods out there um, or other countries, because that would be so much fun. Um, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. We did film a Halloween video um, on Georgia's channel. I don't really know when this is uploading, but go check it out. It'll be linked below. We baked, we watched a horror film, and Georgia did other Halloween things. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. Um, I'm just editing this now and realised I didn't say subscribe to Georgia's channel, so please make sure you go and subscribe to her channel as well. And also, I feel the need to just say, um, I really hope this video doesn't cause any offence to any Americans out there. I normally love of American food. I don't know whether it's because it was transported over that it tasted a little bit less tasty because when I did Camp America I loved everything that I ate over there. So don't really know what's going on but either way I still really enjoyed it um, and I hope you did too. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys! Bye!